Hey, what's going on everyone? I know it's been a little while, but I got some cool things to do today. I got the new tires put on, and as you can probably tell, it's rubbing. It's rubbing under here. Now, I had bought a fender roller from Eastwood, and I did it kind of on impulse thinking, oh, I'm just gonna roll the fender. Well, there's not that much of a lip here, right? And I read, and I was like, I'm just gonna pull it too. So pull it out, kind of pull this out a little bit to gain me some more clearance because I did go a little wider on these tires. I went to 275. Don't know the offset off the top of my head. But I, I keep reading that with the older paint, yes, I can heat it up, but I think it's gonna chip the paint in areas that I don't want. I don't wanna see the chip paint here. So. And I don't want to do body work on this, really, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do, let me show you. I'm going to Dremel the lip back. It's only hitting between, I put a little chalk there, between here and here, mostly here. And so I'm just going to Dremel this back piece down a little bit. And then use a little bit of Rust-Oleum to put on the backside where I've ground it down just to prevent some rust and everything else. So let's see what happens. I mean, it's gonna be on the backside of everything. So it, if it's a little uh, rough, uh, rough looking, not rough, but like rough looking uh, and not super pretty, I don't think too many people are gonna be looking there. It's not a show car by any means. It's just kind of my fun day-to-day -day driver. So let's get started. All right, so I got the tire off. And you guys can see here, kind of where the paint's been rubbed off and up here. When I do hit a big bump on the highway um, there, and then right there you can see my tires kind of been hitting that too. So I'm just gonna grind this back a little bit. And then right there you can see the paint has stopped being chipped. And that should line up with kind of where this mark is. So, I went a little conservative here because I don't want to have to redo this. So let's get started. Here comes the moment of truth. I put the tire back on after grinding. I tried only to grind a, enough, but enough so I don't have to redo it. But let's see what happens when I uh, compress this down. Okay, I'm gonna go look. So I need to do some more in this section here. I mean, this looks like full compression to me. Uh, it's not much anymore, but it's enough to obviously scour my tires. Up we go again and do some more. I got the Rust-Oleum out 
and I had this really teeny tiny, I don't even think it'll focus, but here, this really small um, brush that I had from before, there it is, wow, see how small that is? So I was able to go in here and touch up everything in here. I mean, it's not pretty, but it's behind there and you can kind of see where I ground away. Um, I just don't want any rust to start. I trial fit the tire on a couple times and it fit. I could see a gap between everything. So I'm confident that under max compression, it's not going to scrape anymore. Uh, it was hitting the upper liner a little bit and I'm fine with that. That's plastic, that's felt, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but that's fine. And that only happens when we're running about 75 on the highway with my son, my wife. We got a cooler, we're going to a car show and we hit like a bridge, one of those bumps. Uh, totally fine and I'm not concerned about that. It's the peeling of the tire. So I think we're good. I'm going to mount the tire back up for like the fifth time and call it a day. Thank you for tuning in. I tried to explain why I wasn't going to use the fender roller and pull the fender because I didn't want to um, crack the paint um, like on the outside and then have to go to a body shop and cause another problem that uh, was not necessary uh, just by using my Dremel tool. So it's a little crude, but got the job done. So I'll see you guys next time. Please remember, if you enjoyed this video, to please subscribe. Uh, watch some of my other channels, uh, not channels, but movies that I've put together. And um, I hope to see you guys back here next time. Please leave a comment below if you thought this was cool. If you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's grinding away at his Mercedes. I can see it and hear it all. Um, I had to battle with that myself on the inside. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day.